and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. This is season six, episode 11, and the title of this episode is Man Up or Shut Up. In this video, we're going to be talking all about Kalani and Oswelu. But before we do, my besties, I need your help by giving this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming out this week. And I do have my handy dandy phone here. I am going to be reading from my notes. That's just how I do it. That's how I get down. That's how I roll here. So that way I can stay on topic and get all these points out that I want to discuss in regards to these two. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So Kalani and Oswelu are going car shopping. Now Kalani claims her and Oswelu are still on this high from their romantic getaway. Now she's considering a romantic getaway after she complained the whole time. <laughs> She adds that things are going great between them and it's been about a month since Oswelu's car accident, but she says that it's time for him to get back to work. They need some separation. And Oswelu's kind of like, well, what is that supposed to mean? You don't like spending time with me? And she's like, no, just everybody needs their own space sometimes. Now, it really surprised me when Kalani said that they need time apart and she's ready for him to go back to work, but then complains when he's not being attentive or sleeping in the same room as her in the house. Now, Oswelu does need to get back to work and since they are getting him a new car, they decided not to get a house. Explain to me again, why Kalani isn't working and how long she plans to live with her parents being that she's married with two kids. Now, once they get to the car lot, Kalani tries to show Oswelu small, vehicles that are hybrids or eco-friendly, something like that, because she said that they're good on gas. And Oswelu wants to look at a van instead, then drops a bomb on Kalani in front of the car salesman. He drops a bomb. He says that he wants a bigger car so that they can have another baby. More or less like he wants a bigger car so when they do have more kids is how he put it in front of that salesman. So Kalani is like, what? She had to literally take her mask off Cause she's like, come again, who's having another baby? And then she says to the car salesman, can you give us a few minutes alone? And so he's like, sure, just let me know if you need me or when you need me. And so then once the man steps away, Kalani's like, why are you saying all this? Like, we're not having another baby. Why would you say that and drop this bomb on me in front of this man, a complete stranger? Kalani tells him, like I said, she doesn't want another baby to which Oswelu says that she is being unfair. It may have been a surprise to Kalani, but I wasn't shocked one bit. I knew by the way he was talking when he took her on that little romantic getaway that he was trying to get her pregnant. I already knew what, what the deal was. He wants a big family, but currently no one is working, nor do they have their own home. Kalani really ought to be ashamed of herself, okay? Now Oswelu is out of his mind as well. And I get what he's accustomed to or that it co that he comes from a big family. And so that's what he wants to carry on those same things. But he's not working, nor is she. And they're both living with her parents. They aren't stable enough to add another child. On top of that, I know her parents aren't trying to take on a family of four because that's what they would be if they added on another child. It would be the two boys. No, a family of five. It's the two boys, Kalani, Oswelu, yeah, a family of five. I'm sure they make a little bit of something from the show, you know, TikTok, et cetera, whatever else they kind of got their hands in, cameo or whatever that's called, where they kind of wish people happy birthdays and say hello and people pay them. But that's obviously not enough income coming in if they can't move out and get their own place. I don't even think that Kalani plans to ever work. Now, nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom, but I think that she should be smart and have a plan or some income coming in for herself and the boys because she can't always depend on her parents. Now, in the next scene, Oswelu teaches his boys how to dance while video calling his mother. Once Kalani takes the boys to get ready for bed, he talks to his mom about wanting more kids. His mom says that it's Kalani's job to have kids. Oswelu says that his relationship with his mom is now complicated. Even though his mother apologized at the tell-all, he says things still feel awkward. Now, Oswelu hasn't learned from the past because he starts telling his mom that he's getting a new car, which was a big no-no. And I'm sure in his mom's mind, she's thinking, oh, he's got money to give me 
because he can afford to get another car. Short thing, his mother says she's planning to go back to Samo and wants to visit him before Christmas. Now, we all know she wants money and is expecting gifts as well because looking at the timing she's choosing to come back around, very suspicious to me, like very obvious to me, I should say, that she's coming back around because he done told her about he's getting the car and all this stuff. So now she's like, okay, I'm gonna go get me some money out of him. He must have got some money. Now, he's foolish. So she adds that she will be bringing Tammy with her. And first off, Tammy wouldn't be allowed in my house after the way she showed her behind at the tell all trying to fight people telling people she gonna beat them up and just a whole bunch of crap now Aswalu tells his mother that he doesn't want to see his sister his mother is forcing him to reconcile but she should be talking to her big mouth daughter she should be talking to tammy and then also it's like i get about siblings reconciling and you know getting past certain things but tammy was on some type of stuff like you know if I swear Luke can't take care of my mom and do this and do this from do this and that for my mom. Then he needs to divorce his wife. Like what? What are you talking about? I think that Tammy has become bitter and she maybe she might just might have like some resentment towards Oswello because their mom lives with Tammy. So she probably sucking Tammy dry and Tammy's like, I need to balance the scales like. We need to balance this out. I'm not going to be the only one getting sucked dry. Oswalu's the son. He needs to put in too. If I got to put in, he need to put in. So I think that's more or less kind of uh, what that situation is. But I don't know. I feel like, uh, you know, they, they kind of try to go into a little bit of the intimate details and talk like that. And it just was like, you know, he was talking about uh, them having another baby. And Kalani said something along the lines, you know, if I do that, you're already kind of complaining now if I do that I'll have to nurse again and he's like well you know you could give the baby the bottle so I can have your boob and it was just like I just really wish they would stop because at this point it's not cute it might be cute to them and fun and turning them on but we really as a viewers really could give a crap we don't care nothing about all of that so I just don't understand it, it just it's too much too much so I'm very curious to know what you all thought about uh, 90 Day Fiance with Kalani and Aswelu. This was 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, Season 6, Episode 11. And the title of this episode is Man Up or Shut Up. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming out this week. I appreciate all of your love and support. And I'm excited to talk to you in that comment section and see you in the next video. Peace.